Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio the Island. My name of course is Obit Potato. As we addressed in the last episode, we are having some slight issues with this sorting system. And I think it is about time that we actually put a stop to all of the problems that, uh, that are actually going on with this system and give it a little bit of an upgrade. I mean, that is apparently what is needed, and uh, as such, I think that that is probably, probably what we shall just do. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, perfect. So this should be in range of a medium electric pole. Uh, we will be able to upgrade the power distribution stuff here to the tippity-top substations as soon as we research them, but, you know, for now... We're not really worried about it. Should be A-OK. -okay. Now, the reason that this actually needs to be done, and let's face it, you can actually see right now why it needs to be done, is because it's clogging up literally everything. Um, and that is simply not good enough. So we're going to need to make sure all of these bad boys are set up to input copper. And then we're just going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait right here and collect all of the extra copper that is missing. You know what? I don't really know. I don't really know how long it's going to take for us to fix this problem, but I can tell you that it uh, it won't exist after a certain point because after a certain point we're just going to, you know, make sure that we can completely control all of our inputs, all of our outputs, uh, and it should be absolutely fine. Now there is a little bit of iron overflow going on right now, uh, and that's not really something that we want to see either. So let's take this opportunity to adjust this just a little bit and uh and make it so that we sort things out in just the right manner. All right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All righty then. Plonk. Plonk, plonk. Plonk. And plonk. Like so. And we'll give you the iron picking up permissions. Are we fine for power, by the way? Yeah, we're fine for power. Uh, but yeah, this should pretty much solve our problem. I don't know why we've... Uh, copper? Cool. What? This should not be the case. There we go. Stick all that in there. Stick all that in there. Yeah, I don't know why copper's getting through. It really shouldn't be. I presume... Ah, uh, yeah, I know why copper's getting through. It's because we, uh, because we had a little bit of a power cut. And our system does not handle well with power cuts. Like, it needs to be constantly powered... Um, for it to actually work, which is, I don't want to say a major flaw, but it's a slight flaw. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, though. Let's face it, it really, really isn't. Uh, yeah, this system should be pretty much fine. I don't imagine that we'll ever need any more chests than this, but, you know, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. It's a very, very strong possibility. But, uh, you know, well, not a, not a very strong possibility, but it's a possibility nonetheless. Anyway, let's go quickly down here, pick up some ammo pick up all the ammo. I don't know how much ammo that actually was. About two, three, four hundred maybe, give or take. Uh, we'll head down over here, see if we can patch up some of the holes with uh, with our abundance of walls, which is which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's good enough. No, that was a bit far. Bit far, potato, bit far. Not really interested in that much wallage going on right there, but you know what? It's not bad. Oh, trap myself. One idiot. One utter idiot. Okay, that's good enough. That should keep us uh, for quite a while. That should keep us safe for quite a while. 92 ammo in there. I feel, I feel there is probably a reason to stick a little bit more ammo in there, just in case. There we go. We'll give it an extra, an extra hundred. I think an extra hundred is 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 a safe bet. I think. I think it's a safe bet. Yeah, without a doubt, a safe bet. All right, let's go and check on our iron to make sure that we are getting as much iron into the system as possible. And we should, we really should be. Um, our train should be coming at fairly, our train should be coming at fairly regular intervals. I don't know where it is at the moment though, but it's somewhere apparently. Um, 
I don't know how regular those intervals are. In fact, I could tell you how regular those intervals are. Are they 30 seconds? I think they might be 30 seconds. I don't really recall. Uh, let's build another train. Let's build another train. We need 20 engine units. We're making engine units. That's fine. We can go and uh, deal with that. But yeah, everybody should be 100% production orientated right now. And this should be sped up. This should be sped up real good. Yeah, so why is this not working here? It really isn't working as well as it should be. Do we need a balancer here? I mean, we're not technically going to balance it if we just, you know, use one splitter, but I guess that's something that we should probably do. Yeah, just so that we're, we don't go completely insane. Yeah, there we go. That should allow a little bit more of a continual flow. Fingers crossed, anyway. Yeah, it looks like it's made a little bit of a difference. I hope that it has. Yeah, we can unload the iron. We can unload pretty much everything a little bit faster now. Theoretically. Alright, that's good. That should help out just a touch. Let's make sure that we're not having that same issue somewhere else. Looks like we're not. Looks like everything is fine. Iron is coming around. That's great. Good. Things are things are actually looking up. Holy cow. Who would have thought? I certainly would not have. I certainly, certainly, certainly would not have. And But yeah, we're now transitioning away from mostly copper on the belt to mostly iron on the belt. Because let's face it, we really did try and, uh, and get as much iron as physically possible. And it looks like that uh, that really paid off. We've got a lot of iron. We've got a lot of iron coming in. And uh, it's it's really, really good. However, there's no belt there. So that's really, really bad. Okay, that's full. Okay, I'm just going to drop a whole bunch of iron plate in all these chests. So that we've always got a little bit more iron on the belt. Eh, we'll just go around evenly. Dish up the iron that we've got on our person. And we'll keep that amount of iron. Yeah, that's fine. Beautiful. You see this? A full iron belt. That is exactly what we want to see. Holy cow. That is really, really good to see at long, long last. Um, I think we're probably going to take this opportunity, actually, just to say, hey, fuck it. Let's actually upgrade this main belt because this main belt is now traveling a little bit slowly for what we actually need. Uh, we need just that little bit of extra speed to try and get all the resources down to the very bottom. We need that extra capacity. Uh, so, you know, we're going to go through the processes of upgrading. It's not going to be a long process, uh, but it's not going to be an easy process. It's just it's just something that needs to be done. Just something that needs to be done. Got a little bit of an attack going on, but uh, we'll go and see to that in due course. We're going to head on over to our brand new iron area. Because let's face it, we haven't checked it out this episode. I haven't shown it off. Which is, uh, you know, quite frankly disgraceful. Uh, that goes up there. Yep, perfect. That's fine. All right, now all we need to do is stick down a couple of underground bits of belt and a couple of splitters, and we should be golden. We really should be. That there, that there. We still got this one piece of fast underground belt, which I have no idea where it actually came from. I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest with you. Really no clue where it came from. Uh, and one more splitter after this should sort us out just fine. Yeah, so another main problem is the fact that we have got, you know, zero coal in here, which is actually rather a lot of a problem. We need to make sure that this area is all coaled up. Uh, yep, that there, that there, that there, and that there. All right, perfect. That should give us a little bit more of an accurate representation of the demand that we should uh, that we should expect to have on the, the iron. Good. Yeah, really happy with that, actually. Really, really, really happy with that. A lot of demand for the iron gears right now because we're replenishing our stock of red belt, or fast belt, whatever the heck you want to call it. And uh, got a brand new shipment of iron that just came in. Awesome. So it looks like the amount of iron that we're providing now is uh, is quite a lot. It's quite a lot. I mean, I'm not saying that it could be more, or that it couldn't be more, should I say. Um, but it's it's quite decent. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually not bad at all. I feel that I feel that the amount of iron that we that we that, you know that we shipped in was relatively little. I don't know if that's you know 
That's a bad, well, it's a bad thing, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, that's out of ammo. Yeah, we'll need to go and fix that pretty darn soon. We'll do it on the way back, probably. But it seems like there wasn't much iron waiting for me. I mean... Yes, that's true, I guess. If I mess this up, I think I might have messed this up. I just don't know if there's like enough iron coming in. Build five of those bad boys. Let's try and let's try and fix this a little bit. There we go. Let's try and let's try and make it so that this actually works. Because I'm feeling right now that it doesn't work as well as it probably should. Yeah, and I'm thinking that if we can upgrade all of these fast inserters, then that may help us out just a little bit. I don't know though. I do not know. Let's try. See if it makes a difference. Yeah, let's see if it does. I don't think it does, though. I really do not think it does. What we're going to have to do, I think, unfortunately, is adjust this so that these guys are a little bit further back. I think that's our problem right now. Maybe it's not our problem. I don't know. I really do not know. No, it's not our problem. So what is our problem then? Are we just not getting enough iron actually in? I thought it was the distance. I always forget the distance that it, they, they should be placed. I guess we're just not getting enough iron in. Can that be solved by just increasing the belt speed? Is that something that we can do? I don't think it is. I just don't think we're getting enough iron. I mean, you know, we're hardly getting, hardly getting tons here, chums. Looks like that splitter did help, but it's questionable to what degree. There's a lot of iron waiting here, but why is it not going into... I don't understand this. I don't understand this. This is weird. All right, let's, let's take this up. Let's take this up. Let's take this all up. I don't like it. I've changed my mind. It's all going to get redone. Okay. Here's the plan. And we're going to test it before we actually go through with it. We're going to do that. And then we're going to do this. Alright. I don't actually know if it's going to work. But we're going to see. Alright. Let's test it out. Yeah, that splits it across four chests rather than across just two, which is, you know, the primary problem that we've got going on right now. And that kind of sucks because we have to do this, this whole thing again. But honestly, I'm okay with it if it means that we can ship more iron. Not like we're, we've got a shortage of iron or anything, right, right now. But, you know, in the future, these resources are going to become everly, everly more, uh, you know, rare. And that's not an issue that we want to be thinking about in the future. It's an issue we want to be thinking about now, so that we can avert it and uh, and clear things up before bad stuff happens. That's the plan, anyway. Got a little bit of an attack going on up there. I think they may have breached the walls. I don't really know, I'll be honest. There we go. Put that in there. That looks kind of even. Yeah. It's not actually even, I'll have you know, but... It looks kind of even. All right. Instead, let's make it go through that inserter just so it's a little bit nicer. Yeah, I mean, it looks horrifically ugly, but it might actually just do the trick. Yeah, well, whatever the case, this is a much, much better system, and it looks way, 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 way more efficient to my untrained eyes. I think it should work. I really, really hope that it should work. Uh, where was the turret being engaged? There was a turret that was being engaged up here. That means that the splitters are out. Not the splitters are out. The spitters are out. The darn spitters. Let's do a quick patch-up job here. That's good. And then we'll wait for the train to come around. And then I think we'll probably just leg it home. 
I don't think there's anything more that we can that we can do out here. I mean, you know, we we did a little bit of an overhaul. In fairness, we really, really did. We really, really did. You know what we could do to make this look even nicer? Not like it really needs to look nice, but uh, wrong button there. Not like it needs to look nice or whatever, but we could make it go the other way. I keep on pressing that button. I keep on pressing T instead of R. You know, for rotate. There, I did it again. How stupid am I? I mean, this doesn't really help anything, um, but it does make it look nicer. So, yay for looking nice, I guess. If that's your sort of thing. Alright, now we should get a ton more iron loaded up into these bad boys. Really, really should. We should have pretty much continual unloading. Which is going to result in a lot of iron ore being actually put onto the coaches. Fingers crossed. Power is all fine. Yeah, this is, this is going to work out just fine and dandy. I'm very, very hopeful for the future, folks. This is gonna, this is gonna work, and it's gonna work darned well. Darned, darned well. How many have we got on here? Two hundred seventy-nine, two hundred seventy-seven, two hundred seventy-nine, two hundred seventy-six. Yeah, it's fine. That's loads. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Of course not. Of course not. Nothing at all. There we go. I love, I love how this looks. It looks unbelievably gorgeous. Such an efficient process. So efficient. It won't be efficient forever, though. You know, these guys will slow down. Yeah, look, it started to happen. These guys are still working in tandem, though. Oh, it's going to stop soon, though. Oh, these guys are going to stop soon, too. Oh, there we go. But fingers crossed we should manage to get it all unloaded just in the nick of time before we head away. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now what I am actually going to do is, because I'm a, because I'm a pretty rebellious type of dude, I'm just going to get this train to stop right up here. We're going to hop on out. I am going to try to fix up manually all of the stuffs. Okay, including the gate. There we go, which takes quite a lot of damage, actually. We're under attack over there. I'm not a fan of being under attack, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a hugely great experience. Especially not from some alien biters that are pissed off that you're polluting their planet. I can't imagine that that would be uh, actually somewhat scary. Do we have no more repair packs? We'll have some more repair packs, thank you very much. Let's stick 100 ammo in there. Ammo in there, and you've got 38 ammo. So, you know what? Take a boost of 50 from me. Just to be on the safe side of things. Yeah, just trying to repair what we can right now. Because we've got the ability to do so. Obviously, as robots become available. And I keep on talking about robots. Like, they're suddenly majestically going to become available. Um, but they're not, right? Unless I actually do something. So, I've got to do something to make robots become available. Uh, but yeah, I haven't as of yet. And uh, as such, we are still having robot problems. But hey-ho, that's just the way it is. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Factorio the Island. My name, of course, has been Old Potato. Tune in next time when we will do some other awesome stuff. Um, and I don't know what that stuff will be. So you'll have to tune in then. Ladies and gents, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.